The lawyer representing one of the families in the fatalities at a Rogers Park senior living facility speaking out today about 311 calls from the building, which we aired exclusively last week. She says transparency about what happened and didn't happen is what's needed. WGN's Brona Tumulty has been following this story for us. She joins us now. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, we brought you those calls last Tuesday. Lawyers telling us today our newscast was the first time they had a chance to hear some of those cries for help. For anybody playing catch up, three women were found dead in their apartments last month at the James Snyder apartment complex in Rogers Park, which is a senior living facility. A lack of air conditioning is believed to be the reason for those deaths. But multiple calls, multiple complaints were made to the city in the days before that grim discovery inside the building. One of those calls came from a doctor who had a patient at the complex. Take a listen. One of my patients is in the city building, 7450 North Rogers, um, and there it's over 90 degrees, 95 degrees yesterday. Today it's already 90, and they're refusing to turn on the air conditioning. And I just wanted noted that her doctor called in because if anything happens to her, that is Dr. Demetra Soter on the phone on May 12th, days before the bodies of Janice Reed, Dolores McNeely and Gwen Osborne were found inside on the 14th. Soter's own patient was thankfully okay, but she is a physician who works with burn and trauma victims. We're told she has also spoken with Megan O'Connor, one of the lawyers representing the family of Gwen Osborne, who is an accomplished journalist. Her family is seeking transparency about what exactly went wrong here, and they're also looking for justice for these elderly women who died such brutal and preventable deaths. This is the most horrible way that somebody could die. Um, a, a physician I spoke to said that these women were likely baked to death and that is just a horrific, horrific way to die. This is one of the worst situations we've ever seen at this firm of just ignoring repeated cries for help in a dangerous situation. Now, we also received a statement today from Gwen's son, Ken, Kenneth Rye, who says this is egregious that they would torture senior citizens by not responding to their complaints about the extreme heat. This was a complete lapse in common sense that traumatized an entire senior citizen facility and resulted in the death of three, including my mother. This is despicable and should never, ever happen again. Now, multiple residents have told us management at the building miscited a city ordinance saying that they couldn't switch on the air conditioning until June 1st. The city does have an ordinance in place regarding heat, saying that heat must be provided between September 15th and June 1st, uh, but it does not mention anything about air conditioning. We're live downtown. Brona Tumulty, WGN News. Thanks, Brona.